Hello, everyone. I hope you can find me. I'm not on my other link. I'm so sorry. Welcome, welcome. I'd like to thank Mercury for this Manifestation Monday show. <laughs> Total glitches like last five minutes. So sorry I'm late. Okay, I'm here, you guys. I'm here. <sighs> Let's take a deep breath. Welcome, welcome. Let me know when you're here. Let me know where you are, how you are. Just so ready for Mercury to be over. <laughs> Julie, yay, <laughs> you found me. All right, so I am really excited about today because I was looking at what's going on this week. Um, I don't know if any of you follow Elizabeth Peru, but I really like her astrology and her planetary energy stuff. She's been tapping into the planets for a really long time. So I was reading my report today and tomorrow is a 22 master day in numerology. So I had the brilliant idea to start using these master days. We can bring in this master day energy too when we do our manifestation Mondays. So what we're going to do today is we're going to not only pull in the 22 master um, energy for tomorrow, but we are going to pull in the super new moon energy of Wednesday. So this new moon is pretty impressive because it's coming on the tail end of Mercury. Mercury goes direct on Wednesday. Can I get a holla? I'm so excited. If it hasn't, uh, you know, killed you yet, it's made you stronger um, or killed your electronics, I should say. So um, that's why I was late. Okay, so, so the reason why this new moon is so powerful is because, for one, it's a super new moon, which is like super big, super powerful, super a lot more energy than normal. And a new moon is always about new beginnings, new intentions, new manifesting, which is perfect for what we're doing today. So we're gonna pull all this energy in. Oh, and I should also add, we're kind of at the end of the eclipse season, so, I think the eclipse doorway actually closed maybe a lot. No, I think it's actually closing tomorrow, or I mean on Wednesday. So that closes the eclipse doorway of all this energy we've been dealing with for the last few weeks, month with this, um, with the eclipses, okay? But don't get too excited because we have another eclipse coming in December. So there's always two like that. They're bookends to each other. I was just reading about that from another astrology guy I like, Mark Dodich. So just so you know, we'll be finishing up what we're working on now in December, but don't fret, don't fear. We're going to be working with the energies all along the way to help smooth it out for us, okay? Yay! Okay, who's here? What's happening? Okay, Julie is back in her sobbing. No, 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 no. You do need July to be over with. I know. Isn't it been sucking? So same for me, like the whole ups and downs of all of that. Yes, yes, yes. I am with you, girly. Um, hi, Esther, all the way from France. Holla to the Eiffel Tower. So excited. Hi, everybody. All right, so if you're just joining in, you don't know what the heck we're doing and talking about, we are doing Manifestation Monday. We do it every week. And what that means is we are doing a special process that I created called Zap It Up. And what Zap It Up does is it is an energetic process that we use to basically ignite, expand, and magnify our intentions. So an intention is like a wish or a desire. Anything that you want to manifest in your life is what we'll be working on today. So um, some of you have messaged me so we can include your intentions because you can't be here. So drop me a note if you already know or comment if you already know what your intention is. Let me say hello to the rest of everybody. <laughs> I know us is ready to zap it up. Um, Esta, I'm going to tell everybody that you're in France because we've been zapping that up for how long? Like six months at least? Um, this, I don't want to call it an exchange program, but a school program that she's doing. So it's freaking amazing. Hi, Marie. Welcome. So happy to have you here. Um, 
Okay, so Callie's already working on hers. So she would like a safe, good trip, good flight, good trip flight to Reno and thinking of riding in a gondola on Lake Tahoe. That sounds really, really cool. I like that idea. Um, oh, I should say I'm Jill Hoyrup, <laughs> master psychic, intuitive healer and coach. Uh, I not only do readings and healings, but I teach you how to tap into your intuition. And I run a free Facebook group called Ignite Your Intuition. And you can find it by going into the search bar and doing a hashtag Ignite Intuition. You will find us there. So we're starting a new hashtag program in the group just started this week. And we are doing practice readings. We are doing, we're learning about our intuitive types and other spiritual gifts. We're talking about spiritual guides. We're talking about guardian angels. We're talking about whatever you want to talk about. So it's a good community. It's a fun little playground, I like to call it. So come join the clubhouse. Hashtag ignite intuition. Okay, so let's get started. Um, oh, well, a year. Yes, true. Esther's is correcting me. It's been a year that we've been working together. Yeah. So there's been a lot of zaps in that time. <laughs> Hi, Cindy. Welcome. I'm glad you made it. Okay. So if you're just joining in, we are going to use the energies of tomorrow's Master 22 day. So I've never actually worked with the energies or really probably paid attention besides somebody saying it's a Master day. Um, so I'm not the numerologist at all, but it's uh, the number that you get when you add, so add uh, the date together, right? And then you get a master number. So the master numbers are 11, 22, 33. Are there more? Somebody probably knows more than me on here. So, so it's a master day of 22 tomorrow. So we're going to tap into that energy and pull it in for today's Manifestation Monday, and we're going to tap into the super new moon energy on Wednesday. Okay. Okay, Julie, yes, I may have a private message for you later on that because I'm working on the same about this obsessive thoughts. Okay. So how's everybody doing? Do you have your do you have your intention ready to go? I'm just going to tune in here for a minute. I'm a little I'm a little spazzy. I feel like, do I feel a little spazzy to you guys? I feel a little spastic from like dealing with last minute computer glitches. Thank you, Mercury. So today I have fresh lime, half of a lime squeezed in here and cucumbers, delish. Okay. Just going to tune in here. So I'm actually going to take a minute if you guys want to as well. I want to I want to take a minute and tune into the master 22 day energy separately because I want to know what that feels like um, prior to before we even get going because sometimes once I get going I just do it all and it all happens and I want to actually feel what this feels like so if you want to close your eyes and tune in to and ask yourself ask your higher self your guides the universe to show you what does master 22 day energy feel like Whew. I just got a big hit um, in my third chakra. So let me know where you guys feel it. Not like a barreling over, but I like I felt it. Like I actually physically went and touched where it hit me, energetically speaking. No hosts were um, harmed in the filming of the show. <laughs> okay, sorry. It's, it's a good sign that I'm having a sense of humor. Just know that. Okay. So, so let me know what you're feeling as you tune into the Master 22 energy. So, so for me, it hit my third chakra, and after I got done yapping, it went, it was like this. How do I do this? Hmm. It went like up my body and then down my body. This is really interesting. Did anybody feel something like that? Okay, Debbie's here. Yay, I almost... I tried to tag you and then something happened and I, yay, Debbie, I'm glad you're here. I hope it's not too late for you. Um, Estha's doing prosperity and abundance again. Perfect. Um, Okie doke. Oh, good. So Callie's been using um, black tourmaline and it's helping her with her computer issues. 
I should have I should have started earlier to get prepared. That's my bad. It's totally my fault, but it was also a new setup on the other setup I'm using. But in any case, none of that matters because here we are. Okay, Julie's feeling it in her head. Debbie's feeling like something hit her like a pillow fight. Yeah, so it's subtle, right? It's subtle, but it's, I don't know, it's cool. So I feel like it's also very grounding. Um, <clears throat> It's also really grounding energy. It feels calming and grounding. So this makes me want to go and read about master number 22 again, because I want to see how, I want to see how it fits with what I've been feeling just now. So if that makes sense. Okay, cool. So if you want to share your intention, drop it in the comments below or in the comments and that way we can all collectively as a group, help each other to um, manifest this. If you are watching this later on YouTube, please feel free to drop in the comments and uh, know that you are getting this Zap It Up process as we go, even though you're not with us live. The energy is still there. The energy container is still there. Um, it's how I create it and set it up when I do this work so that anybody watching later can have the same experience. So go ahead and let me know in the comments on YouTube as well how you are feeling as we go, if you want. Okay, so is everybody ready? So for the Zap It Up process, the first step is we get you congruent with the actual desire. So um, Angela's wanting job and love and um, Kelly's wanting a safe trip, safe flight to, um, I almost said Vegas, to Reno and a gondola ride on Lake Tahoe. Esther's wanting uh, money and abundance. Is anybody else wanting, has anybody else said, oh, prosperity and abundance, sorry, Esther. Okay. Um, <clears throat> Cynthia's feeling it from the chest down. It does feel calming. Okay, good. So we, we may feel different things as we feel the, the Master 22 energy, just so you know. So whatever you're getting is just perfect for you. I always like it when we do get the same thing, though. Okay, Julie is, um, her intention is to stop obsessing and start focusing on my own individual life. Yes. Um, Debbie's planning to move up north. And yes, Esther's got the abundance and prosperity. Okay, anybody else? If I missed you, go ahead and drop it in. All right, first step, we're getting congruent with what we want. So... It's interesting because every time I tune in, usually there's no issues at all. Everybody's already congruent with what they want. And what this means basically is just that sometimes you might think that you want something, but you really don't. So it's not a bad thing. It's just that you've shifted. So we'll just get you congruent if you're not. And I do feel like everyone is congruent. Perfect. It's good. Okay. How's everybody feeling? I feel like that, we haven't even pulled in the energy yet, by the way, of, uh, of oh, I guess it came in anyway when, I, when we were tuning into it, but like technically I wasn't pulling it in to actually use it. It was there, the Master 22. So I don't know if you felt it for that congruence piece, but I feel an extra calming and an extra grounding sense as it integrated the congruence. Let me know if you felt anything like that or what you felt. Debbie needs abundance to move north. <laughs> gotcha. Cynthia is looking for perfect physical health. Julie wants to want to focus on your own life. Perfect. <laughs> I love that. I want to want to. That actually is a good statement to use. I have a business colleague who uses that. I want to want to create YouTube videos or whatever she says. It works. It does help shift your energy. Okay. So for the second part of this zap it up is we're going to ignite your actual intention. We are going to expand it within you. And by the way, we're working with both your energetic field and your physical body for this. We're kind of integrating the two, okay? Uh, as well as head and heart congruence 
That just is breaking news. It just came in. So then the third step is we magnify it. So we're basically lighting a fire under your intentions, your desires, and we are blowing it up. So if you've done some law of attraction or manifestation work before, the, what I like about doing the energy zapping is it really sends it out there. Um, as, gosh, we had Renee last week who told us the story of two weeks ago, or maybe three now, literally within 30 seconds after the show finished, she, her, her intention was manifested. So this is real stuff. Be careful what you wish for because you will very likely get it. Unfortunately, uh, you know, there is such a thing as universal timing that I'm not going to talk about right now. So if you don't get it in 30 seconds, there's a reason why. Heidi Ho, Katie girl. <laughs> That's cute. I like that. Okay, Debbie's feeling calm and relaxed. Callie's feeling calm. Okay, so let's, so now this is the part. Okay, so get on, watch yourselves. Seatbelt yourselves in. I just have a feeling this is going to be a real powerful one. I know I've said that before on other ones when we've used the Eclipse Energy, but so already what I'm feeling for this Master 22-day energy is that it is going to maybe create like a tight-knit ball of energy. That's the wrong word for it. But I feel like it's going to be the foundation, this calming, grounding energy, and then the super new moon energy. Let's just, this is kind of fun. Let's take a second here before we do the igniting, expanding, and magnifying. And let's tune in to just the super moon, new moon energy on Wednesday, okay? So just ask, what does the super new moon energy on Wednesday feel like? So we're feeling it in advance already out there just at a lesser degree and we're pulling it in so we're just noticing what does this energy feel like let me know what you get so what i'm sensing is literally kind of almost like it took my brain and lifted it up did anybody feel it in your crown chakra and there's a sense of expansion, but really more so it feels like a sense of letting go. And for me, it's probably showing up in my head because I've been thinking way too much lately. So Julie, that might be the case for you too. So uh, some sort of a release. How does that feel to everybody? <laughs> Julie's got it in her head too. Nice, okay. Is anybody else feeling it anywhere? The super new moon energy on Wednesday? Just for kicks. We haven't done it this way before. It's different every week, right? I love it. Okay. Yeah. So I also sense like little working men like walking in a straight line together in a line. Like I feel like things can be, so once Mercury turns direct, then we can start really taking better action towards things that we're wanting. So to me, that was kind of symbolic of like, we're getting to work, we're doing our thing, we're getting in our routine. So it'll be interesting to see if that is what happens. Sorry, I'm going to keep scrolling down. Oh, see, look, I turn away for one minute. Okay, Katie's feeling release. Debbie's sensing it in the pit of her stomach, rising up. Interesting. Cindy's feeling more of a heaviness with that energy, feeling it above the neck area. Okay, there's another up in the head area. Esther saying, everything feels so exciting to me after the private zap up. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Katie's getting clarity. Good. <laughs> well, you know, it's a little different working just one-on-one, -on -one, right? With with the zapping. And plus, you've you've been working with me for a year, so... There, it's easy. It's easy for us to just tune in and get it done. All right. So now let's pull in that Master 22 Day Energy. 
our calming grounding. And then now our super new moon. So it's getting bigger. So, so I'm like going out this way to my right to Wednesday and I'm pulling it in. So I actually see it coming through Tuesday, coming into t like up through tonight into this moment. And it's like getting bigger as it goes. Did anybody feel that same sense of expansion? I don't know if I actually want it that close, you guys. <laughs> I'm gonna just send it back a little bit, but pull it in. Okay, there we go, that's better. Woo, I just moved that out. That was a little overwhelming, that super new moon energy. So did anybody else wake up really tired today? I woke up really tired today and I thought, what the heck? And then I realized the new moon's coming. So the new moon is all about like rest and rejuvenation. So if you ever feel tired, on the day of the new moon or a couple days before or after, that's why. It's time to go in, to reflect, to set those intentions, to release anything that needs to be released, and just kind of journal, self-care, meditation, all that kind of stuff. Okay. All right, who's ready to go? Let me check the comments one last time and then we are going to zap it up. Debbie said her stomach felt like a sudden dead weight. Yes. So I actually feel like the uh, new moon energy uh, magnified the calming and grounding of the Master 22. Debbie, let me know if that feels right for you, like, and it was in your stomach area, so it just compounded and... Esta feels so peaceful. Yay. Sorry, I'm not on my regular program. I can't put up the comments for everybody to see. Julie's soul is tired, wish sleep helped. I hear ya. Um, Katie was so tired, but also took CBD RSO to sleep. And <laughs> as this full of energy, that's because you're in France. <laughs> Always after that last one in one session with, oh good, I'm so glad. Oh, that's not true. As to saying she's excited because of, um, and full of energy because of our sessions. Tender. Thank you. Roar to you, girl. Okay, Cindy's terribly tired today, having to push myself to do anything. Yesterday felt fabulous. I was good, like, on the weekend, too. So definitely there's some kind of shift going on. All right. Let's get ready to zap it up by expanding or igniting, expanding, and man magnifying, okay? Hold on to your britches. <laughs> Here we go, Master 22 energy and super new moon. That new moon energy is wild. I'll be really curious how I feel on Wednesday with it. So report back on Wednesday how you're feeling. Yeah. Okay, so I wanna make, so I don't want it just to come in. So the super full moon, or super new moon energy for Wednesday is just so powerful, but I, now we've got to actually make it useful for us. So here begins the zap. Let me know how you're feeling as we go. Let's see. Everybody take a deep breath in through their nose and out through their mouth for me. We didn't really do that earlier. Gets us connected up to each other and to ourselves and to the energy of what's happening. There we go. We needed that shift after all that, you know, talking about what was going on. We needed to kind of get back into our bodies. Okay, so. Hmm. Guess who's getting dizzy again? Me. Not funny every time. I wonder if it's because I'm not sitting down. If it's because because I'm standing, so the energy can flow so much better. That just came to me. Okay, igniting is done. Expanding is beginning. Anytime you feel like you need a deep breath, just in through the nose and out through the mouth. Good. Very good. Okay.
There we go. Nice. So interesting, this mix of the 22 and this, it's, it, it feels to me like they're opposites, but the way they're coming together, let me know if you're feeling that. It's like a really powerful calmness. <laughs> I don't know how, any other words to describe it. Okay. All right, so now we're heading into the magnify mode. Oh yeah. I feel like you guys all just went goody. Like, like there is a definite participation piece, I guess, excitement. Let's see. Okay. <sighs> all right. Nice. Okay. Whew. Let's go see what's see what's been happening in the comments while I've been gone. Okay. Hi, Nikki. Happy Monday to you. Debbie was feeling dizzy too, and her stomach was fluttering. Julie Rose is saying yin yang for sure. Yep. <laughs> Cindy's feeling dizzy and she's sitting down. Debbie's so calm now she could go to sleep. Well, see, that's why I did it at your bedtime, Debbie, so you can just crawl right into bed. You're welcome. <laughs> um all right let's just i just feel like we need a little smoothing energy so i'm gonna just send everybody a little dose of smoothing energy wow i am really curious how we keep feeling as the days go on like over the next week with this combination of the energy now i'm wondering what's going to be happening next week for us <laughs> No, shouldn't be an evil laugh, right? Okay. That feels a lot better. All right. Um, you know, commercial break time. I need more water next time. <clears throat> wow, I feel pretty calm too. That was nice. Okay, Julie's changing hers from stop obsessive thoughts to think calm thoughts. It feels lighter. Ooh, that's better. That's better, Julie. In fact, uh, I love I love the I am easily and effortlessly, or even you can leave out the am and just say I easily and effortlessly uh I almost want to just say think positive thoughts for you. Does that resonate? <laughs> Katie needs a double. <laughs> a double what? Lightning bolt? I guess if you meant beer, you would have put a beer symbol, right? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, you guys, this is awesome. Sorry about my computer glitch. I will be more diligent on uh, getting my act together earlier, especially with a new program. <sighs> it's, it's not a new program. It's the old program that they did something new, so... All right, how's everybody feeling? Did that rock everybody's roar or what? Oh, zap. Zap, of course. Double zap, Katie. Sorry. <laughs> they need a zap emoji instead of the like in the heart. We need a zap. Yes, I love it when you do the dancing lady. So, you guys, I was trying to, I don't know where, I don't know where I was. I don't know which live it was on when I was talking about wanting to have like disco music playing because everybody know I think everybody here knows I love to dance and especially to disco I just disco makes me so happy I probably was in a past life in the 70s I must have been some kind of disco queen maybe my lives have overlapped anyway um I think I can't just go to YouTube and play like Bee Gees or something so uh <clears throat> I need a little intro though don't I let's think about that <laughs> Rock, roar, and zap. Ooh, I like it. All right, any last comments before we sign off? I kind of feel, uh, oh, Debbie's stomach's still fluttering. Okay, let's smooth that out for you. We don't want you to uh, have a fluttering stomach. Is it still as heavy as it was? I feel like it was. Okay. So Debbie and or anybody that needs some more smoothing out energy, it is coming to you now. So be open. There we go. Yeah. 
That was serving a purpose, Debbie, for you to feel it when we were doing it, but it doesn't, we don't need to still feel like that. So that's why I like to do the smoothing out energy afterwards. So let me know uh, if anything else is happening for any of you. <laughs> Katie says the lightning bolt is the zap emoji. Heck yeah. We need a roar emoji because honestly, you guys, the lion emoji just looks like a pet. So we need, I need to, I need to find a better roar emoji. So maybe we should do a uh, competition to find the best roar emoji. Abba's good too, Katie. I love all that stuff. You, you're, yeah, you're around my age. You, you like it too. Debbie says it feels like a lot of butterflies are trapped in her tummy. Is it better now? Oh, good. Debbie says much better now. You're welcome, Julie. Oh, thank you guys so much. And uh, I love to hear the story. So come join me next week and tell me what you manifested. And for those of you who didn't share, that's okay. Uh, it's still working. Yay. You guys make me so happy. You're welcome, Cindy. I'm so happy that you caught me on. Um, Katie's saying, ground and flush out the negative or bumps. Imagine a stream roller ironing out those bumps. Yes. That's great advice. Mm -hmm. All right. You're welcome, Katie. You're welcome, Debbie. Thank you guys for joining me. And um, have a super good sleep tonight for those of you who are off to bed soon and or out on the town in Paris. What? Um, I appreciate you. Thank you for joining and um, continue to rock your roar. And I will see you next week. <laughs>